Welcome back. Now we're going to discuss a tool called WhatWeb. This tool is used to gather information and to scan any website on the internet. So it is primarily used to scan websites since this tool recognizes web technologies including web servers, embedded devices, JavaScript libraries and many more things. They explain it really well on the website page for this tool. So we can read right here about all of the details that this tool has. We can notice they have over 1700 plugins, each one of them used to recognize something different. So they use these plugins to perform the scan on the website and discover what technologies does that website run. What is important for us is this second paragraph, since down here it tells us that default level of aggression called Stealthy is the fastest and requires only one HTTP request of a website. Now what this simply means is that this WhatWeb tool has different levels for scanning. And the default level is the level of aggression that is called Stealthy, which we can use on any website that we want. The other levels of scanning are more aggressive and should only be performed during penetration tests. So we should not use the more aggressive scans on the websites that we do not have permission to scan. We can, however, use the stealthy scan on any website that we want on the internet. And don't worry, we are going to see all of these options in just a second. For now, it's good that we know what we can or cannot do. So let's test this tool out in our Cal Linux. To do it, open up your terminal and to check out all of the options we can do with WhatWeb, you can simply just type WhatWeb in your terminal and press enter. This will give you a smaller help menu with some of the basic features that WhatWeb has. As we can see, we can specify targets, which can be anything from URLs, host names or IP addresses. Here is that aggression level, which we specify like this. There is the aggression level 1, which is stealthy, and the aggression level 3, which is aggressive. The default level is level 1, which is good to notice, so we don't want to change this if we scan a random website on the internet. We can also list all of the plugins that it uses, but we are not currently interested in this. And we can have also a verbose output. But these are just some of the options for the WhatWeb tool. To get even more available options with WhatWeb, we can type the command WhatWeb dash dash help. Press enter and this will give us a much larger help menu with all of the possible options that we can use for WhatWeb. And down here, here is the aggression level. We can see besides the stealthy that we are going to use on random websites and besides the aggressive scan that you would use in a penetration test, there is even more aggressive scan called heavy and it says right here, makes a lot of HTTP requests per target, URLs from all plugins are attempted. So this is basically the deepest scan that WhatWeb tool can perform on a website. Up here are also the targets, so we specify a target first. And if I go all the way down, you will notice right here we got some of the examples of usage of WhatWeb. So we can see right here that the most simple example is running WhatWeb and then the domain name. So for the first run, let us go with this one. We're only going to specify website as an option. So just type down here WhatWeb. And since we are using the aggression level one, we can scan any website that we want. So I'm going to go with this one. And this is just another university website from my country. Feel free to scan any website that you want, or you can also go with this one if you'd like. If I press here enter, in just a few seconds, we should get response for this website. And here it is, we already got something. Uh, we got two responses, as we can see by the links right here. The command has finished executing, so let us just go through these results and see what we got. It tells us that it most likely performed a redirect as soon as we tried getting this link. We can also see that we got the Apache web server. We even get the version, which is 2.4.6. We got some cookies right here, which the website uses. We got from which country it is, which type of HTTP server it uses. If I go down here, here is the IP address of this website. Here's the PHP version that they use. 
And the redirect location, if you remember I told you that it most likely redirected us to a different page, here is to where it redirected us. And once we got redirected, we got the response of 200 OK. And this is just an HTTP response code, which tells us that we successfully loaded a page. We got the same Apache version, the bootstrap version, which cookies it uses. Down here we got the country. And we also managed to extract some of the emails. As we can see down here, these are some of the emails from the page that belong to this domain. Down here we also see that it uses HTML5, which HTTP server it has, which Apache version it has, once again which PHP version, the IP address, it also uses jQuery, Lightbox, and a bunch of other things we can see right here. But I don't really like how this is outputted. It is hard to read. To output this a little bit prettier, we can use this verbose option that I saw in the help menu. Here it is. And what this verbose option does is it also includes plugin descriptions. It will also tell us for each plugin that the WhatWeb tool managed to discover, it will tell us what exactly that plugin is. So let's try it out. If I type WhatWeb and then the same website, but I add dash V option at the end and press enter, it will pretty much give us the same result just it will be outputted a whole lot better and easier to read. If I scroll all the way up to the beginning of the command, remember we got two responses. Here is the IP address and this is the first request or first response which tells us to move to the actual website, so the redirect response. We get all of this information that we got previously, but we also get this section right here which says detected plugins. And for example, if we didn't know what Apache was, we could read right here what Apache is. And down here, we get the version that this website has of the Apache. We also get for cookies, same thing. For HTTP server, we can see which operating system, which Apache server it is, which PHP version it is. It tells us right here what PHP is, for example, if we didn't know. PHP is a widely used general purpose scripting language redirect location, so after this request it redirects us to this location, and down here we get the response 200 for the actual page. We get once again the country, the IP address, and all of the detected plugins, and we can read through this and discover what is this website running. And it is outputted a whole lot better and easier to read than the previous command. Okay, good, so we managed to get the information as to what a certain website is running, which technologies it has, and in the next video, we're going to deeply go into this tool and try to perform some of the more aggressive scans as well as experiment with some of the different options of WhatWeb as well.